The American Society for Pharmacology and Experimental Therapeutics president-elect is with me right now, Edward Morgan. Thank you for being here. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us about the year ahead for Aspen. Well, uh, we're in, I think, now the second year of implementing our strategic plan. And so there's a lot of activity going on there. One of the most exciting aspects of it for me is um, reimagining and, and, and redesigning the annual meeting at, at EB. And so, uh, you know, f for next year in Orlando, you know, there's all kinds of uh, exciting developments. Um, in response to comments from our members, the poster sessions are, are sort of being set uh, in their own time slot with no competition from, uh, from other activities so that, you know, the posters hopefully will, will, will get a lot more traffic and our, our presenters will, will, will get um, a lot more feedback. Oral sessions are, are going to be more flexible, they're going to be different time slots available in different lengths of sessions. So, so the meeting starts on Saturday and ends on Tuesday, so it's going to be shortened because we had some feedback that the meeting was, was basically getting too long. And those uh, developments are really starting this year. So for instance, we have the data blitz at poster sessions this year for uh, the young scientists to present their, uh, their work in a short format. When you talk about all the societies coming together for this meeting, it's a great collaboration. What do you think is so special about it? Well, it's exactly that. I mean, uh, you look at um, the meetings for most of the other, the non-EB societies, obviously you have excellence in those particular areas, but here you have the chance, essentially for one registration, you get to visit five different meetings, right? And, um, and so you can, you can hone in on the fields of your expertise and learn what's up and coming in that area, but you can also branch out and go to um, uh, symposia, uh, you know, for other societies where you can learn, you know, uh, if you're a pharmacologist, you can go learn, you know, the, 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 the latest in, in some aspect of physiology that impacts your research. This is, for us, one of our most important member benefits, right? This, what our members place value on is, is coming to EB and um, being able to present the science, being able to network, form new collaborations, and for the younger scientists to sort of uh, get you know, professionalization and integration into the scientific community. A wonderful benefit here. How do you see that translating into change for the individual and perhaps for their field as they leave this meeting? When they leave this meeting, the first thing I, I want them to be thinking is, wow, that was some outstanding science, you know, having learned a lot and taking that knowledge, you know, to, to, uh, to provide new ideas for their own research programs, to, to get grants to publish and, and, and to make new discoveries. Hopefully people will have developed new contacts that lead to new collaborations, new networks for the younger students, new mentors uh, in their mentoring network. And you know, I, I, I hope that our members go home with a new sort of sense of belonging uh, to an organization that, that really um, advocates for them, for their careers, uh, and for the discipline of pharmacology. A great meeting with lasting benefits. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.